Last year, the Leelanau Conservancy began its biggest project ever, establishing the 700-acre Palmer Woods Forest Reserve. Project manager Brian Price says this hardwood forest can teach us some things about the future of timber production in northern Michigan. What's so unique about this forest is that it has many of those different slope, soil aspects that allow us to try out different techniques of sustainable forestry management. People will be able to see not everything's going to work exactly as planned. Nobody could foresee 25 years ago, 35 years ago, when this forest began to be intensively managed for timber production, the kind of tree diseases that we're now dealing with. It's a really unique time. District forester Cam Ross agrees that northern Michigan's forests are changing. She says we have a lot to learn about the complex causes of forest decline. We tend to lump things that we don't quite have an, a scientific answer for in what's called decline. And so many of our species will have maple decline or oak decline. And I know that climate change has played a, a part in why those species aren't doing well. Um, it does tie into insect and disease, but once again, a lot of insect and disease outbreaks are tied to our climate changes. We want to try things and do forestry demonstration projects that we can show the public and say, in response to the beech trees being removed because they're diseased, here's the things that we tried to bring along the next healthy, economically viable, attractive forest on this site. Private landowners manage seven million acres of northern hardwood forests, and most of that is in private ownership in the state of Michigan. And there are very few places where you could take that landowner and say, here's some things you could be thinking about. You're gonna do this next harvest. And typically, when we're done with that, we're just done with it. We hope the forest grows up and, you know, and does well after that. But there's a lot of reasons to think that times have changed. And we've got to be more active in trying to manage toward more diversity and more health, and even bring in species maybe that are native a little further south from here in response to what we think the climate's going to be. We're going to, we're going to be able to try those things. Well, it goes back to that old thing that's probably, you know, that little nugget that's in there somewhere in me and others, that a lot of our problems are because we haven't tried hard enough to understand the underlying mechanisms. We haven't got enough knowledge base. More knowledge and more dissemination of that knowledge will help us all be better managers of the land. Mm -hmm.